Hello and welcome to another video from Sleem Solar. We are installing a server rack here and we're putting in the batteries. So I wanted to give you a little tip. So when you're doing the bottom battery, it's a good idea to get one of these little dollies here. Put the battery on it because it lines up right where you shove the battery in. And then what you could do is it lines up with your slots. And then you can just shove the battery straight in on the first bottom one because sometimes it's kind of hard when you're on your knees and you're trying to muscle this thing because this is about 110 pounds so i found a way to get a dolly put it on the dolly here and then it lines up right with the edge of the server rack here where you're able to guide it straight into the last or the bottom railing and you can shove that in and then the second one that you put in, it's easier if you're stooping down and you're on your knees and you can then push it and it levels with your body for the second one. So I thought I would uh, show the first one here before I slide it in that this actually works pretty well to shove that battery in. So I'm going to put you on pause here for a second and then shove it in and then show you what it looks like when it's completed and then we'll put the camera up as we do the other uh, four because uh, we only have five we don't have six so we'll have to have the top area will be vacant for a six battery which uh, will be purchased and installed so here we are pushing the battery all the way let's get that out the way here So as you can see, it goes all the way in. So now that it fits, I'm going to pull it out and then pull these screws out and then push it all the way in and bolt them in. So here you can see the batteries lined up with the screw holes. So now we're going to see if it fits and it does. So. That one fits in, and we'll get this other one right here. <clears throat> All right, let's kind of back this out the way a little bit so I can get these over here. I would use my impact gun, but I want to make sure I don't cross thread them so I get them nice and it takes a little bit longer, but you are short of not cross threading the holes. So these actually line up pretty well. Let's get this out. Because when we put the other battery in. We don't want it to hinder the battery going in. And then the cable. Then the terminal. Alright, so now that's done. We're going to get the other batteries and we're going to slide them in. So let's back these out here.
these are the same bolts that we're going to use to put them back in there. So let's get the other battery and continue. Okay, so now we got the second one in. We bolted them in. Now I'm going to remove these and get the second, the third one in. See how that goes. Four batteries, gotta get one more. Ugh. Last one. Now we got all five in there. Boy, those batteries are heavy. 110 pounds each. So I'm going to bolt them up, make my connections, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm going to start screwing these in. I'm going to use the screwdriver first because I do not want to cross thread them. Maybe a little bit slower method, but it's safer. So if I ever have to take these batteries out, they're not cross threaded and I ruin the holes and I have to re tap them. Funny, as you get older, I wouldn't say we're slower, we're just wiser. Because we don't have to redo things. these terminals on these battery cables for parallel connection to the bus bar I'm just gonna connect all these first and then connect them to the bus bar we're doing the positive side first and then we'll do the negative side second I want to give a special shout out to Ethan Rogers at Signature Solar for getting me these cables in a speedy time so I could get this project going. So thank you very much, Ethan, for getting me these cables so I could 
get this project completed here. So now that I have these connected here, I'm going to go get my socket set to find the right bolts, um, nut driver to pull these off. And then we'll make our connections <clears throat> and then we'll get our positive and negative leads from here and here and take it back over to the system that's over here and get that connected. So let me go get my socket set to get that and I'll be back. Okay, so now we are continuing with putting in the the battery cables into the bus bar. So I'm going to try and hand start it because I do not want to again wear out or I get it hand started first and I just slowly make sure it's snugged so that one's tightened. All right, so we're continuing here putting on the positive side of the bus bar, putting on these battery terminal cables, paralleling them. All right, and now connection so we're taking this one off and we're putting on the bolt that has a longer threading And tighten it first, then use a screwdriver here. Okay, so that takes care of the last one, and then we'll put, I think maybe the positive main connection from the battery over to the system over here, and we'll probably do the Take the negative from the top and positive from the bottom and make our connection. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, so now everything is wired up. Batteries are on. I have this temporarily come around here because I haven't, I need my, I need a two inch knockout. And I don't have one, so I'll go to the store, get that done. And then these will all go through here. The two cables there will go through here. So right now I have the positive right here and I have the negative right here. So we're getting a diagonal connection. So we have an even flow that's going over connected and I have my shunt connected. So it says we have, so we can get a zoom there. 98% so it's about 500 amp hours we have here because there are five batteries as you can see one two three four five so when that's done I'll be able to close the door properly so we're almost done so one more battery will be purchased and put right here. So we'll have 30 kilowatt hours right now. It's 25. So I just wanted to show, show you that it's already connected. And the rack works out pretty well. That's a nice rack, very solid. So once we get our two inch knockout to come in down here, the wires will come in through here and be connected and that will be finished. So I have to go to the store to get that. So we're almost there. So right now, I think this video has gone on long enough. So I'm going to cut it here. And please uh, like, share, subscribe. If you found this video helpful. And until the next video. Take care. All right, uh, just wanted to show you the update of me getting a two inch knockout. Run the cables through, run all the cables through. And then positive is down here, negative is up here. So you can see the negative cable, the positive cable, and now it's complete. So you can see we have upgraded to the EG4 server rack batteries. And you can see the readout there. So at a 500 amp hour, 25 kilowatt hour worth of battery. It's at 98%. So this project is completed. Again, I want to thank EG4 for getting out this cabinet so I can do the upgrade and have them racked in. One more thing, I wanted to show you that it's been grounded. The cable goes down, and that green cable is tied, and it goes in here, and then it's grounded inside here. That goes into the panel, and then there's a ground that goes outside, earth ground, that grounds out everything. So just wanted to point that out before I sign off on this video. So once again, please like share, subscribe, so others can see the right way to do an upgrade for, for server rack batteries that's racked into a server rack. Until next time, take care.